they have overlooked something okay here so you're going to get another chance to uh i heard redeem yourself this person wants some kind of explanation like why you didn't you know what what was going on with you was everything okay i don't feel like they're mad with you or anything like that but they want to know why you did not reply back to their offer or something like that so yeah let me block this person common sense will tell you this is my real account anybody else with a bright question anyone else just don't say anything what's here self-esteem yeah this is going to give you a boost some kind of way boost could be significant insure um pediolite and things like that pediasure so you could be having an upset stomach your child could be i don't know what this is but i hope you feel better tiny fam masculine <laughs> tiny fam and tiny masculine i hope they feel better whoever this is okay should i unblock him i'm not gonna unblock you anyone else what else is here humor so i feel like just take a walk on the wild side don't be so quick to be angry with whoever this person is because i feel like they have a i'm not gonna say that they have a right to judge you right i'm not gonna say that but they do have a right to want their child to be with someone decent but my thing is you are a decent person that's what i'm saying it's like you're not a bad person so i don't get why they don't like you so much it seems like it could be a little bit of envy here this is going over like this is rolling over into your work it's something about roaming as well so somebody could be traveling like your phone is roaming or something like that um some about roll over something rolling over somebody's rolling over in their grave as well okay you're i don't know what this is that's going on as far as your love life but it's somebody that's really in love with you but they're like forbidden to be with you or something and it's all because of what you do for work so this person could be like slick trying to make you stop doing something that you do like they could want you not to do this line of work anymore so that you could be appealing to their mother or their father but i feel just forget these people because if they can't accept you for who you are and what you do then what the fuck are you you need to tie your shoe because you tripping for sure and this ain't spirit delta or none of that shit you are definitely tripping trying to make someone change who they are for you if you are in love with someone if you can't adjust to who they are in their lifestyle you need to move around move on so this person also feels like empathy I, uh, to be honest with you thank you for the gifts and things to be honest with you i heard i'm on a roll it's something about roles uh especially those roles from uh red lobster somebody loves those roles thank you very much dolores thank you ira thank you very much this person it seemed like they're even going so far it's like okay well now nah, that's my person i want to be with that person so they can't be with anybody then if they won't stop doing what they're doing i'm gonna make sure that they can't be with anybody it seemed like this i'm seeing leaves falling i'm also seeing um that scene from paid in full when um i think it was the money like he was he was somewhere i can't remember but the money was like raining money i'm seeing that but it's like this person is going to be too far it's like well if i can't be with them nobody can kind of energy i don't know what it's up with these people and this possessive ass energy that they have towards you guys it's kind of strange thank you for the gifts like this is very weird it's something about dandelions and uh lilies somebody's name could be lily you know like i feel i feel like this person has good intention for their child but my thing is like when you're when you're trying to ruin someone's life because you don't like what they do for work or you don't like how they dress or whatever like that's not fair i don't i feel like whoever this person is they were given a chance by whoever their husband or their wife is like they overlooked some things their person was able to work with them with certain things so why is it that they don't have forgiveness for you why is it that they have so much judgment for you they were accepted whether people like them or not i'm pretty sure whoever this person is because i can really dig into sis bro i really can dig into everything about your fucking past because i can pick it up you are not perfect 
Just because now you might have money and you dress a certain way. Since you came from somewhere. Thank you. And where is that from? Please don't make me motherfucking go and look. Why you sit up here doing all this research on this fucking feminine or this masculine? Somebody is literally researching your family and everything. Yeah, you should know. Like, you should know your person's family and shit. Like, you should know where a person comes from. But people do not ask to be born to people, bruh. You can't control who people are. It's some feminists in here whose mothers hate them. Who literally left them with nothing. Who, who left them to fend for themselves. These divine feminists out here got it out the fucking mud. These masculines got it out the mud. Their mothers was never fucking there for them. Fathers was never there for them. You don't know what the hell someone been through in their life. But whoever they are right now, you gonna sit there and judge this person and feel like you could take everything away from them because you got fucking money? Who the fuck are you? Who, what kind of person are you? But you passing judgment on this person. Who are you? You're the fucking devil. That's devil energy. The fuck? This person is literally trying to make you lose everything. The, the energy that y'all folks in, you are so abundant that you got many different people. They These people want y'all homeless and shit. Like, what in the fuck is wrong with y'all folks? What the hell is up with you wanting somebody homeless and shit, shawty? Wanting them to have nothing at all just because somebody loves them. Are you fucking serious? Like, take everything away from your child. This person ain't your motherfucking child. You don't know this person. The fuck? You don't know this person. You don't know what the fuck this person's been through. And who even said that they were interested in your fucking son or your daughter? Who said that? Bro, a lot of y'all got people that literally, y'all folk do social media and shit, right? Man, y'all got folk that just be sitting back stalking y'all and shit. People that fall in love with you and they go telling their family and shit about y'all. Bro, y'all don't even know these people. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Divine. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for my... What was that? It's not telling me what it was. Thank you very much. Man, I'm just not fucking getting exact black magic too, Carla. Like, they fuck me doing... Bro, I just really wish God, Father in Heaven, please ban these people from using black magic. I wish it just didn't exist. God, why are y'all people so fucking hateful? You don't know how this person even feel about they self. Like, you don't know what this person go through every day. And here you come, adding more shit onto their life. You don't know them. What the fuck? You don't know this person. Who the fuck is you to sit up here doing all this to somebody? All because this man is in love with you. They forbid this man to be with you. Why don't you punish your child? Your child, this person's child is the one that's in love with this feminine or this masculine. This some real new, new, and t uh, Rashad fucking energy. Motherfuckers covering up who they really is, sneaking around and shit, acting like they're someone else. Man, punish your fucking child. Who the hell is you? And then these folk be, they, they be so damn confused how they end up losing these positions and shit. How they end up losing all they bread. Confirmation, shouty. Man, y'all folks on bullshit, bro. This is bull. This person don't deserve that shit. Imagination. Abundance. This is exactly why this feminine or this masculine gonna remain abundant. Divine feminine masculine, this is exactly why you're gonna always win. This person is trying to block opportunities and everything from you. Using spell work, yes. But they're also like doing some fucked up ass shit. Like calling shit. Like they call places like where you work. Like they tamper with that where you live. They tamper with that. They get to know people in your neighborhood. They start reaching out to management. Like is it that motherfucking serious? You can't possibly do this to everybody that this person is interested in or have dated. So why are you picking on the feminine or this masculine? The fuck? And just the heads though, somebody about to call CPS on you. Somebody le be leaving their son home or their daughter home with their youngest child. This child could be about six years old. Your son could be about 15 or your daughter could be about 15 or this could even be a younger sibling. Somebody is going to call the motherfucking CPS on your goddamn children. And they're going to be questioning you. It's going to get thrown out. 
somebody lost their purse. It's black and blue. Y'all some dirty motherfuckers out here, bruh. Bro, you can't pay me no amount of money, bro. You can strip everything from me. I will never do no shit like this to nobody. Ever, bro. Ever. For what? Why? This shit's stupid, bro. Fuck karma. Bro, I, common sense, bro. I don't rock like that. Who does shit like this? And it's every day. Whoever you is, you're a machine, bro. These folk can't even beat you. You're literally a machine. Literally. And you're living in your calling. Purpose. You got trust. And then what was that they feel? It's like, girl, bye. A lot of y'all don't even want anything to do with this person. Gosh. And even if you did, what is so fucking wrong with that? If people in love, let them be in love. Like, what the fuck? So, your, your son, your daughter is in love with somebody. You don't want them with that person. So, you sit up here and destroy that person? Are you serious? Man, y'all vote dirty as hell, shawty. And that's why you're under judgment, shawty. The same judgment, the same measure. You two will be judged. Trust that. Trust that. And you're not going to grow. This person trying to block you from growing. Like, they're doing so much shit to you. They're doing so much to you so that you can give up doing something that you were doing way before these hoes and niggas even came in the picture, bro. You mean to tell me I've been bossed up since you came and when you come and when you leave, that's when I'm going to lose everything? Man, you got me fucked up, bro. Motherfuckers be good before y'all hoes and niggas, bro. Bro, y'all folk been good before this person. Right now and way after this motherfucker get the fuck out your energy, you going to always be good. God is always taking care of you all the time. What make these folk think that you rely on anything that they got? These family, family traditions and all this bad. Fuck your goddamn tradition, shawty. You can't be including people in some shit because that's what you believe. That's what you believe in. This person rock with their own goddamn tradition. With the most high. And one thing we don't do is put judgment on other people. And try to stand in their fucking way. And bring them down to nothing? Man, bro, come on, bro. Listen to me say that out loud. You trying to ruin people's life? Man, these folks be having underlying health conditions and everything. Just because they don't say nothing, that don't mean shit ain't going on. They just choose not to live in sorrow and grief. Man, these folks might look a certain way. They don't. You don't know what somebody go through every day. And that don't give you no reason, even if you did. God, I'm sick of this shit, bro. Every day with this shit. Every day, envy. Half of these hoes and niggas want to be y'all folks. Oh, you don't like me. I'm ghetto. I cuss. I got tattoo. Yeah, bitch, but you want to be me, though. You want to have my favor, though. You wish you knew the shit I knew. You wish you could do the shit I do. Bitch, you sitting back wanting to be me. All them millions you got, and you still ain't got shit. All the money you got can't buy favor. It can't buy a soul. And you fucking mad, shouty. Let's talk about what the truth is. The root of the problem. Divine Family Masculine, you got somebody attacking you because you just will not conform. It's somebody sitting back in love with you and you don't even know this goddamn person. So they're trying to ruin your goddamn life to make you not appealing to this person. Well, if I can do beauty magic on them... And have them fat, ugly, and nasty looking. My son or my daughter won't want them anymore. If I can make their face break out, my son or daughter won't want them anymore. If I can attack them in their finances and have them broke and homeless, my son or my daughter wouldn't be able to see them and they wouldn't want them anymore. That shit is not organic. What is you talking about, Shouty? Shouty, you got to be the most evil motherfucker walking in goddamn earth, Shouty. To even want that for someone else. Because guess what? That shit happened to your ass. And then these hoes and niggas got the nerve to come from shit like that. Come from poverty and shit. And now, all of a sudden, because you done found a way to get some money by living off of somebody else's money. Because bitch, you damn sure ain't starting no uh, businesses or none of y'all. And you're living off of a fucking man. Let's talk about the truth and rule. Nigga, you living off this woman and her father and they, and they connections. You came from the bottom. And this person trying to work their way through. And you're trying to ruin their fucking life. Nobody did that to you, though. Ain't nobody do that shit to you. Because you got fucking money and you got some kind of pull. You know people. You can do that shit to other people. Nah, bitch. It ain't gonna work like that. 
Who the hell don't want their child to be happy? Indecision. That don't even make no sense. The goal, when, when you have kids, it's immediately never about you no more. You better find a way to make that shit balance out. It ain't just about you. You got a whole nother life that you got to take care of. And you lead by example, shout it. That's just what I'm trying to tell you. You lead by example. And the shit y'all have been doing in the background, bitch, you about to pay for it, ho. You about to pay for all of that shit. This person is dirty as hell. Like I said, balance. Libra energy here. Adversity, doubt. They keep doubting the most high God. These hoes and nigga might be atheists or something. Fuck you. That's what I'm saying. You don't believe in the same thing? Fine. Move the fuck on. This, I'm sure this person done had boyfriends and girlfriends. Like, these, these folk done had relationships before. They could not have possibly done this to every single person that they were interested in. Not, it's no way. This woman is psychotic. Divine Feminine, this ain't your mama. This is somebody else's mama doing this shit to you. Bro, I am just not understanding this. Because whoever you are, you mind your business. You don't even go out. You don't do really anything. And I'm going to tell you right now, fam masculine. Bro, start enjoying your life, bro. Start enjoying your life. I don't care what the fuck it's about. You ain't got to go and spend up all your money. But, bro, get up and get out the house and go enjoy your life, shouty. Because it's people like this. Every day they work behind the scenes to take every goddamn thing away from y'all, folks. Bro, you don't even deserve that shit. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing in y'all energy that indicates that you deserve any of this. But somebody else feels like you do. And it's really because of what you believe in. Like, it's some folk that cannot stand me. They dislike me because I cuss and I talk about God at the same time. They don't like that. But see, what you like and what you don't like ain't got shit to fucking do with me. I talk to my dad every single day. And he's working on me. Bitch, give him time to work in me. They don't want to give people a chance. They don't want to give you a chance. They feel just taking everything from you. You're not making a way for motherfuckers either, though. These folks ain't did not a damn thing from you. And they feel like they can come and take everything from you because they know people. I know God. You should be very afraid. I know God, sweetheart. Fuck these mortal motherfuckers that walk one foot at a time like me. Hoes and niggas that bleed just like me if you getting it. Motherfuckers that put their pants on one goddamn leg at a time. Man, that, this is exactly why you just cannot live in this kind of energy, fam, masculine. That's why I always tell y'all, bro, don't never turn into these hoes and niggas, bro. Don't ever turn into these folks. Don't ever get so hateful in your goddamn heart to where you feel like you take the shit that God has blessed you with and you start manipulating shit in other people's life, abusing your power and things like that. That's why I tell y'all very often, bro, don't ever turn into these folks, y'all, ever. I don't got no respect for this shit. And what I feel and how I think, oh, that shit mean a whole lot to the father. It mean a lot to my dad. My opinion about shit, it mean a lot. More than you fucking think it does. I don't respect shit like this. And it's always these motherfuckers with these tight ass, squeezable ass collar shirts and shit that they be wearing. These motherfuckers with these pants, suits, and, and briefcases. Those are the main motherfuckers that be walking around causing this kind of shit to people. Gratitude. Make sure you show gratitude all the time, bro. That's all I can say about that. This shit right here, brazy. These folks in the closet and all kind of shit doing shit. They don't want they shit aired the fuck out. They don't want they shit aired the fuck out. I don't want to air out none of you whole dirty laundry. That shit stink. That shit stink it fuck. Bitch, air it out. Ho, wash that shit. I ain't even touching your dirty laundry, bitch. With gloves on. Hell no. Fuck wrong, child folk, bro. This shit here is just diabolical, bro. Somebody just so evil. All of this shit because they son or their daughter is in love with you. 
Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. You don't even know these people. This nigga such a goddamn coward. He'll never come say nothing to you, fam. He'll never come say nothing to you. Or this person been talking to you, but they been talking to you as another person. Like, this person got stupid money, but they been talking to you like they just regular or something. Like, bro, come on with this shit, shawty. Sometimes it's good to hide your identity, but sometimes you can't because this person sneaking around talking to you, and that's why you're being attacked so heavily. You got your own door to value. If these hoes and nigga will leave you the fuck alone, bro, y'all fuck with a big head a million dollars, bro. Every time you turn around. This shit crazy like you just can't win for losing in this motherfucker, bro. Because it always talking about it. They envious, shawty. This ain't got nothing to do. Well, oh, they did something to me, so I need revenge. This ain't got shit to do with that, bro. These hoes and niggas that envious of y'all folk. They got it all, or what it appears to be. They got it all, but they need to take everything from you before they can feel superior. Man, I ain't. Motherfuckers can't have nothing to their name, bro, and I still outrank you. Fuck is you talking about, bro? I still got more going on than you. Still doing better, feeling better, looking better than you, bro. Y'all folk losing, shawty. Film masculine, don't change who you will, bro. Ever. Keep this energy. Because I'm telling you, it's somebody very deceiving. Somebody is very deceptive. Around, around, they're around you. They're around you. You're not around these people. I, mean, I don't give a damn when nobody say, bro, y'all folk don't deserve this shit. Losing that motherfucker. These hoes and niggas trying to call CPS on y'all folk. How the hell they even get your address? How I get your address? Yeah, because all they do is lurk and stalk. And pay money to find out information. These folks got so many folks on their payroll. That shit is crazy. Y'all folks losing, bro. You losing like fuck. Storm warning. I'm sick and tired of warning you motherfuckers with this shit, bro. Leave people alone, bro. You mean to tell me all that motherfucking money you got, you can't find nothing else to do? It excites you to tear this person's life apart, huh? That shit exciting as fuck to you, huh? To just see this person with nothing. But you 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 supposed to be this fancy ass motherfucker. You supposed to be better than everyone else. Man, you is ratchety fuck, shouty. This shit right here ghetto as hell. I don't care what you talking about. You ain't no better than this person. You ain't better than nobody. Bitch, you ain't even better than your, the old version of you. You got worse when you got money. You you up here doing all this shit to their film or their masculine. Somebody they need to be humble. Motherfucker, did anybody do that shit to you, though, when you were coming up? They ain't do that to you. Why nobody pulling on your leg and shit trying to drag you down? And if they did, you would have kicked their ass right in the fucking face. Bro, you wouldn't have let nobody stop you from getting to where you going. And you got the nerve to do the same exact shit that you would not have liked someone to do to you, to them. Bro, I don't give a damn what you say. You dirty as hell. You dirty as fuck for this shit, bro. Straight up, bro. You don't get no respect from me, man. You don't get no respect from me, Shawty. Fuck what hoes and niggas trying to make shit look like. All this magician bullshit y'all folks on. Man, do some good shit. How about that? Hashtag do some good. How about that? Make that shit trending. Be your fucking self, bitch. How about that? Do some good for yourself and other people. How about the fuck that? How about that? Anybody can do some negative shit. Studying the moon phases and shit. Just waiting, anticipating, and seeing fuck to try to bring somebody life down. Because you don't like them. You don't like what they said. Man, fuck you and keep it moving. Man, you don't like what I say. Tell me fuck me and keep it moving. I don't wait. Somebody tell me fuck you, Shanita. What I'm supposed to do about that? That's how you feel. That's how you feel, bro. And you got every right to feel how you feel. Well, stay the fuck away from me, bro. You don't fuck with me. Stay your ass the fuck away from me, bro. That shit crazy. Tell me how you feel. And then once you do that and get it off your chest, make sure you never the fuck come back around me again. That's what I'm telling you, bro. Y'all folk don't know how this shit really works. Y'all folk fake it hell to me, shawty. You fake it fuck, bro. This fake as hell. This person don't deserve that shit, man. This person do not deserve that shit. Film masculine, you do not deserve this. And it's every goddamn day. Every day, bro. All because this man is in love with this woman. This woman is in love with this man. 
and they don't know how to stand up for themselves. Oh, my mom going to cut me off. My dad going to cut me off. They're going to take away all my, they're going to take my bins. They're going to do this, man. Let them take that shit. The shit that come along and attached with that bins, man, you can drive that shit off a fucking cliff. Drive all that bullshit off a cliff. Ain't nobody finna have me attached to shit that I don't agree with. You gonna take everything? Take it. I still believe in God. Take that shit, steal it. That's all you gonna do. Cause watch what my dad gonna do. Motherfuckers ain't trying to hold on to no shit that ain't theirs. Cause if it's mine, it's mine. You ain't gonna come take shit from me. From my physical body, you ain't taking shit from me. Hoes and niggas gotta do shit in the background. You gotta manipulate shit and do spell work. Ain't now hoe a nigga gonna come up to me in my body and take shit from me. So you got that other shit. Ain't nobody finna be trying to go through and piece up this put two and two together. Scooby Doo mystery snatch and mask off and all that shit, bitch. Please, hoe. You never gonna come to me with that shit. All the effort that you gotta do to do shit behind the scenes, do that. Still like that. You ain't ever finna come up on me and take nothing from me. Ever. That's what they that's why they taking advantage of shit. Cause they know people. They go fucking with y'all jobs and shit. Y'all folk be at y'all desk working. You getting called to the office and shit. Hoes and niggas done call your, your supervisor, your manager. Like, bro, what? And then they always do it when you don't see it coming. Because they had already been planning it. Man, y'all folk losing, shawty. You really is. You just really losing to treat a person like this. And then you obviously think that you just going to continue to live well. Man, you do, you can do that shit to anybody. Not this feminine or this masculine. Whoever this is, I'm picking up on. You have fucked up royally doing shit like that to them. Community in the reverse, yin and yang. This person don't want you in the community because this person could possibly be your twin flame. I'm not even going to say this is your twin flame. They had a potential to be, maybe. I don't know. This motherfucker won't even come say nothing to you. How the fuck you sent up here me to tell me my life going to get ruined for a motherfucker I ain't never even met? A motherfucker that ain't even got the balls to come and say hello? You mean to tell me you gonna, I'm going to let you ruin my fucking life from the background for a motherfucker I don't even know? Man, you sound crazy as fuck, bro. <laughs> Y'all fuck hell, shawty. This shit ridiculous, shawty. Where the fuck Charlemagne at? These folk need donkey of the goddamn day. Our angel area. Y'all folk losing, bro. Bro, I would never treat nobody like this. Y'all folk weird as fuck, shawty. You just weird. These folk, they feel like they got money, so they got power. Man, they feminine or they masculine got money. What the hell is you talking about? <laughs> They just don't use their money to pay witches and shit to ruin somebody else's life. What else is here? This person feel like if they could cause you to go broke, if they could cause you to be sick, homeless, and all that shit, this person won't be interested in you. Man, you can have nothing at all. You're still the same person. This person still gonna be looking for you. That's what I'm saying. They're going to always look for you. And then why would you even want to fuck with somebody that know they mama or they daddy on some shit like that? Oh, that person got to know. You're not going to tell me that you don't fucking know your mama doing it, losing shit to this woman. You're not going to tell me that. This fake bitch all in their feminine face. And then next thing you know, CPS at her door? Yeah, you did that shit, bitch. What wrong with you? Hell, is you talking about trying to separate a mother from her kids? Are you serious? Man, y'all folks out of pocket, shawty. All right, ancient champion here, Metatron, and you had a daughter spirit. Man, look, ain't no way. Man, y'all folks can have this shit right here, for sure. I don't feel like this feminine or this masculine will ever want to deal with someone whose family has done all of this to them. This woman did a number on this masculine. And then, so she did so much spell work on this man or this woman. Somebody did a lot of spell work on this person for they won't remember any of the bullshit that they had to encounter when they were a kid. This person right here used to be on drugs, bad as fuck. All they did was prostitute. I mean, let's talk about it. You don't want your shit out there, though. But you trying to embarrass this family, trying to take everything from her. Since nobody did that shit to you, when you bad this man, when you tricked him, because you definitely did spell work to marry this man. And you do spell work very frequently to keep 
the spell going. You've been doing spells on this man for 21 years, honey. 21 years you've been doing spell work on this man. Let's talk about it. 21 fucking years. You just, you just, this person right here, they know all of the fuck up shit that they have done. They feel like you are capable of doing that shit, fam. Because that's what this bitch son did. Her conscience is getting to her. So they pass judgment on you. Bro, I don't get this. Even if you knew this person, if you didn't, if y'all are in love, what the fuck is wrong with that? You may not come from a whole lot, fam. But who you are today, you would think your goddamn family is Bentley Fonsworth and all of them motherfuckers. Fonsworth, Bentley, or whatever the fuck. Bro, you don't think you came from a big ass mansion and shit. The way you are now, the way you carrying your whole bloodline, masculine, the way y'all carrying your entire bloodline, you would never think you had a day to a, a struggle at all. You don't look like what you've been through. This person trying to punish you for shit you've been through. They trying to punish you for shit that you've been through, bro. That's crazy. They go indecision again. <clears throat> we just saw that in the other day. So somebody is indecisive here. But there's our Angel Michael. Tell me why these hoes and nigga about to lose everything. And this masculine gonna end up needing you. These folks about to lose everything. This masculine gonna end up needing you and your assistance. These folks try to tear you down, but then turn around and need you. Man, what? Man, what? In the hell is you talking about, bro? They gonna lose everything, Angela. Everything. These folks feel like they... Bro, do you not, bro? Do you not know my father is God? This feminine or this masculine, our father is God, honey. God, God, honey. Do you not know how powerful he is, honey? Whatever you got, this shit don't mean nothing to my father. He gave it to you. And the same thing, bro, these people are not appreciative. They're so fucking ungrateful. They feel like they're owed some shit. Honey, it is definitely a privilege. And all of that spell work and shit you did, it's going to come back to you. Here's the why I don't got shit nice to say to none of you motherfuckers on the energy. She so mean. She always... Man, who the... I don't respect you. Oh, I can eloquently chump your ass off as well. Don't get that shit twisted, bitch. I just feel like cussing. No, bitch, I can speak how I need to speak when I need to speak. I feel like cussing. Motherfucker. The hell is you talking about? I feel like cussing. I don't got to. Man, this junk, bro, this is just crazy, bro. Bro, y'all don't need, bro, it's, it's like this man, the prince or some shit. Uh, uh, like, uh, Princess Diana or some shit right here, masculine. Like, this person really, like, this, like, it seems like some kind of royal family, bro. But we know them the families with the most secrets. Bro, y'all folk evil as fuck. They're, not nobody want to be a part of this shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? What you talking about, bro? Y'all folk got a lot of tricks with y'all, bro. These folk got a whole lot of tricks with them, shouting. But see, my thing is, you got gifts. You can see right through whatever this is anyway. This person showing up as a main male. That's their energy. In the spirit, you're a main male. Don't nobody give a damn about your fucking money. You're not spiritually wealthy. It seemed like if he would just get, the, get his mama out of his fucking business, or she would get her dad out of her fucking business, y'all folks would be all right. It's like you need to disappear. You need to go because they're in love with you. And if they can just get rid of you, then they won't be worrying about being in love with you. Half of these people, they try to force these men and women to marry other people that may have money as well here. 
We. Y'all folk family got money too. Y'all folk family be stealing this shit. Y'all folk family done stole millions of dollars from y'all folk. Who the fuck these folk think they is, shawty? <laughs> Man, hell no, nah, bro. You dirty as hell for this shit. I don't even care what you talking about. Like, you, this person has went to some extreme lengths to literally take your life from you, bro. Trying to take your kids from you. The reason why this bitch is calling CPS on you is because they trying to take your kids from you so that you could just go crazy as hell. This bitch wants you to go crazy. Like, they're not able to make you go crazy any other kind of way. They're trying to find out what means the most to you to destroy it. Man, what kind of shit is that, shawty? I see exactly what the fuck this person is doing. Or what they're trying to do. Yeah, you're not losing your kids. I'm just telling you what the fuck they're up to. You're not losing your damn kids. But my thing is, the attempt and the reason why, they're trying to make you go crazy. If they can get you to look crazy or something to this man, then they feel like, you know, um, they'll stop being interested in you or something. A lot of y'all might be with this person. Somebody lying about who they really is, bro. Somebody ordering pizza. Some pizza show do sound good right about now, girl. I've been carrying all this booty around, though. I don't know if I need some pizza. My booty done got a little jiggly jiggly. So, I don't know, girl. But some pizza do show sound good right now. It show sound. Ooh, that sounds really good. Real cheesy, cheesy and hot. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. Pizza do sound good. Bad nose, bad pennies. That's how this person is showing up. A main female. They're not showing up. Man, hell no, nah, Charlie. I keep telling for leave these folks alone, bro. Just leave people alone. Leave people alone. You were able to have choices and make your own decisions. Nobody forced you to do anything. Why are you sitting up here trying to control this person's life? That is just so mean. You're a very mean person. You're a mean. That's what I'm saying. You're a bully. You're mean. That shit is not cute. It's not cute at all. Stand around bullying people. And then you're doing this shit. Bitch, you're bullying this person in the background. You'll never come to this person to face with any of this shit. Ever. With a problem or anything like that. You never will. Never. You're a coward. Thank you for the roses and things. Coughing in the reverse. First card out. Reverse though. They hate you that much that they trying to take your life. They hate the fact that this person is in love with you so much that they trying to take your life. Oh. This person has set up so much shit around your name. They even know like judges and things like that. They know police and shit. They even was trying to make these people put false ass charges and shit on y'all folk. But one thing about the law, you can't buy a law. Like, you can't do that. You can't just pay someone to do shit and them not going to get caught for it or you. We, you dig a rescue, motherfucker? Somebody definitely was probably paying somebody, but they can't put no false ass charges on you. That's what they were trying to do. This person wants you fucked up in any way possible, but they're coming out false person fake as fuck they're fake bro how 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 would this work in order for you and this person to ever be together they would have to literally cut their mom and everybody else off because how the fuck could you be going to family gatherings with a bitch that'll put some poison in your food how could you possibly call them kind of people family how could you ever be comfortable around someone like that who tries to take your kids from you, ruin your life, take your money, have you homeless. That's what I'm saying. This shit will never work anyway. Off of the strength of his mama. That's why God is giving you this great fortune. 
That's why you receiving all that bread. That's exactly why. Because of what these hoes and niggas, their, their, their intentions is towards you. Message of concern. They think they blocking one way and God already made another way. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Even if something may seem frustrating or something in masculine, don't dwell on that. I feel just take something in for what it is and just heal from it and move on. Like, don't stay there. If something don't work out, fine. It's a natural emotion to, as a as a, the flesh, I want to say, as the flesh, it's natural for you to say, damn, I really wanted that opportunity or I really wanted that house. I really, you know, something don't work out. That's fine. God got something else for you. Don't stay there, though. Like, don't stay, like, dwelling on something because that shit bad health. At some point, you just keep obsessing over something that's just not, it's not. You lost something, it's gone. You got denied, go somewhere else. You will get approved. You dig a root skill? Somebody is concerned about you. This person right here wants you in bad health and everything. This person right here is crazy. But you're not going to jail. That's what I'm saying. They want your ass locked away or something. This person is so fucking desperate. And I'm going to tell you too, her son or her daughter or whoever the fuck, they doing love spells on you to make sure nobody comes your way. They doing spell work too. Because they the apple do not fall far from the fucking tree. This bitch is a fucking witch, and this man is a warlock as well. He feel like, oh, well, my mom's gonna block me from her, and but I can't be with her, so let me do spells on her. He been doing spells on you too, and blocking you from certain things as well. So neither one of them can be trusted. That's what I'm telling you right here. Yeah, occupation. It got something to do with your work. Message. I feel like just be expecting a message from somebody, okay? Want to work with you. This is like a partnership. Somebody wants a long-term partnership with you. They feel like you're an asset. I feel like you are too. I don't feel like you're a bad person. Every, I mean, everybody goes through things. Like, just because you didn't come from the best home or something like that, that don't mean you're a horrible person, bro. Yeah, that don't mean you're a horrible person. You see all these people with these homeless to Harvard stories. <laughs> Well, not necessarily Harvard, but, you know, homeless to millionaires and billionaires, right? That don't mean that they're bad people just because life got to them. I mean, life throws these curveballs at everybody, bro. That's just what I'm trying to feel. Like, well, who the fuck is anybody to think they're better than someone else? That's why these people be researching y'all so much. They want to know exactly where you came from. Even if they had a rundown on where you came from, bro, these folks ain't never been with you every single day all day long they don't know every single event that happened in your life that's what i'm saying where you went to school and all that shit don't even matter that's what i'm saying the test of life that's what matters how you persevere through certain shit that's what matter your your own family trying to take your ass out for some shit that's yours and then this bitch right here you don't even know this person they trying to take some shit from, that's yours because they don't want you a part of their family bitch i feel like you need to you put some put a hitman on your child Push spell work on your son, ho. Make this motherfucker stay the fuck out. This person got down live streams and shit. Why don't you do that? Getting rid of this person is not the goddamn... That's not gonna solve shit because you're never gonna do that. The fucker real? How the hell is he gonna make everything better by trying to get rid of you? Man, bitch, what? Y'all folk tripping. Concerned. Oh, they very concerned about something. It's like this is a grown ass motherfucking man. The only way you will fuck with this person is if he completely cut this bitch off. Period. And it's like they claim that you this, that, and the other, but they always thinking about you. You always cussing, you this, you that, and other. Okay. Stay the fuck away from me then. Why are you constantly checking on everything I do every goddamn day? You the first motherfucker in my live stream. You the first motherfucker watching my videos on YouTube. You the first motherfucker. Why don't you stay the fuck away? That's what I'm saying. Why don't you just stay the fuck away from people? You don't like them. Thank you, someone. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Ooh, they just get on my nerve. They always this, and they always that. But you always watching. You're always interested. You're always in the mix. Always in tune. Motherfucker, I feel like it's you. That's the problem. I feel like these people the problem. What I said. I feel like they the problem. I don't feel like you're the problem. 
If you got a platform or something, I feel like that's your platform. You can do what you want on your platform within reason, right? You're not violating anything. You can do what you want. But what you can't control is these hoes and niggas that keep watching you, keep coming back for more. They keep, they can't stand you, but they sit back and watch everything you're doing. That I will never understand. Bro, if I don't like you, you don't exist at all. I don't want to hear shit you saying. I don't want to see shit you're doing. I don't want to hear nothing about what you're going through. You don't exist at all. I don't give a fuck if I've known you before. If I don't fuck with you now, you don't exist to me. That is just crazy. I can't make you love me by tank. It's like this person right here. It's like. Man, these are some very entitled people. Because whoever this is, it's like they know that they're forbidden to be with you. So they go in the spirit. These folk got a lot of warlocks and witches on their roster, shot On their payroll soon. But it's like they single you out and say, excuse me. Skimmy, they can be with whoever they want to be with, right? Because they can't be nowhere near you. So they're gonna this person is gonna go on some kind of rampage. Like they're gonna start sleeping with a bunch of people, whatever the case is, to numb how they truly feel. But in the meantime, they're gonna block everything in your life, stop you from having things. Which is very weird. Because they don't want nobody else to come and have you. But see, it's a real man who ain't afraid to stand up and speak up. This motherfucker is pussy. He's afraid of his fucking mom and dad. Bro, you ain't got to be disrespectful to your mama or your daddy. But who in the fuck do you think you is telling me who I'm going to be with? And if I want to be with somebody, you're going to try to kill them? Now I'm looking at you, side eye. Come on, bro. It just don't make no sense. It doesn't make any sense, bro. And you got some parents that, like, maybe I really don't like that person. And, you know, eventually you'll see that they wasn't really shit. What I said. But I don't feel like these people go and try to set up scenarios to try to prove them right. See, see, I told you. I told you. I told you. This person is that type of person. And then I be wondering who y'all folks said to run into these kind of... Bro, I would never want to know nobody like this. Ever, bro. Stay far the fuck away from me on this kind of shit. I don't want to ever know nobody on this kind of shit. Trying to ruin somebody's life? For whatever reason that is. That ain't your fucking place. Like, who the hell y'all folks think y'all live for real? You're not nobody. I'm telling you that shit. You ain't shit. The energy you hold, you're not shit, fuck hell. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse... Look at the two of wands. So really what they really waiting on is bad karma. They're getting their karma. They're getting bad karma. You're getting good karma. Good dharma. We. Somebody going on a cruise. Have fun, guys. I heard safari. You could be going on a safari or something here. I'm seeing ostriches and giraffes and things. You could be feeding animals here. Don't know. Voyage. Enjoy life. That's all I can say. This is so sad. Four swords. This person is about to be forced to rest or something. Somebody could be about 24 years old. Shara. To Shara. Two of Wands again. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse. They trying to make you go broke. Not happening, Page of Cups. It's not happening. Maybe it's just sit your ass down. All of this energy they send it to you is going back to them. And this moon energy, this spell that they about to attempt, Tower, bitch, in the reverse. You're not going to recover from it, though. You've been doing too much. This is your last spell. Because you're hard-headed. You're not going to listen. You're going to attempt to do this spell work, and you're going to get your shit blown back. That's what I'm trying to tell you, y'all. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Okay. Because you just hate this damn feminine so much, right? Girl, you don't know who the fuck this person is to the most high. Your opinion about them? Girl, bye. Girl, fucking bye, bitch. It's not worth any damn thing. The way you feel, the way someone feels about you, it doesn't mean shit. That's what I'm trying to say right here. The most high, what he thinks about you, that's all that matters. That's why you submit and conform to the most high, not nobody else. I'm just trying to figure out, because this is a gutter-ass rat bitch right here. 
that wear Chanel or something now. Because she bagged a rich man. Let's talk about it, sis. But now you trying to destroy this feminine? Nobody did that shit to you. In fact, you had homegirls that was encouraging you and proud of you and happy for you when you got somebody that was rich. They had money. Because you damn sure they married that man for love. You marry him because you a ghetto hood red bald head bitch that never wanted to go back to the ghetto. Let's talk about it. Sun card. King of Cups in the reverse. This person don't love no goddamn body. They love money. So they feel like you're the same exact way just like them. So they're trying to hold you back. Because you're not on this devil energy. Yeah. Whatever. This person's a fucking liar and a fraud. Remember that guy loves you and so do I. I'm getting up out of this shit. Bye, y'all. If I can leave. 